Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be taking a look at We Create's Fan Booster here. What this is, is an inline fan. It's going to boost the air out of the back of the machine, out the window. I said I was going to try this with the pass-through slot. I waited until the most recent public release of the software is out, so we just released the public software on the, um, the unit down here, the auto pass-through slot. So we're going to be testing out the brand new software, see if that works. I would assume it works since uh, the uh, non-public one that I showed in the previous video did work. Um, but this time, I'm not going to cut a really long project just to save you guys some time, save me some time. And we're going to just set the fan booster right here and point it out the window since I don't have a real good setup for that yet. And we're going to test this out, see if it blows any smoke like it did in the original video here. With all that out of the way, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and unbox this now. We have the fan booster. I already opened the top and took a quick peek, but there is a massive amount of different items inside here. Hopefully you can see that on camera. I'm just working with what I have right now. Um, but as you can see, we have a hose that'll attach to the back or to one of these booster extensions here. This goes around the inside of the fan, just like the Skyline S6 fan, I think it was, that I used for the uh, Glowforge. So similar to that, except you're getting all of these parts included, which is a huge benefit because these aren't really that cheap to come by. Um, and it looks like there's another extension um, here as well. Let's go ahead and uh, Set all of this off to the side. I'll unwrap that really quick here. Take a look at this one. So this actually looks like this goes into the window and it includes a flap that will go to the window to vent the air out. So that's super cool that you get that included as well. Um, and then you have the second hose that goes on the other side of the fan here. So super nice that you get all of the accessories that you need right out of the box with this one versus like if you buy the, um, the uh, I think it's called Skyline or SkyCloud uh, 6. I'll go ahead and put a text up here, what it's officially called that we use for the Glowforge. But um, that one doesn't come with all of these extra accessories. And then here's another clamp for the... Um, the fan itself it does come with an instruction booklet so we'll get uh, to that in here in just a second i assume you just plug it in by power yeah it looks like you just plug it in by power and then you just put the two uh hoses on both sides send it out the window and you're all set let's get the actual fan out of here um first it looks like they have the power core wrapped wrapped up on the side here let me get that out and then there is a fan controller as well let me get this open for you guys here. And then as you can see, this is just, and just like the um, other one, you can get a cheaper or a more expensive version with a dot, but this one is just a dial that you spin up how slow or fast your fan's gonna go. So it's nice that you have uh, complete control over that. Now I'm gonna get the fan out of here. This may be a little bit harder to get out of here. They have it really well packaged. There we go. And that's pretty much it for this box. It does have the nice picture of the fan on there. So if you need that, otherwise we're gonna get rid of that. And um, now we have the styrofoam. We won't need that either. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. And then we have just the plastic left and the fan. So as you can see, this fan is substantially smaller than the one that we use for the Glowforge. So hopefully it can push a lot of air out. I'm hoping that it will. It should be enough. Um, the other one's kind of overkill for the Glowforge, to be honest. So this should be plenty of power. We're gonna see how it works. Like I said, I'm not gonna go um, extreme and set it all up right now, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set it here, hook it up, and then send it right out the um, window here and see what it does. Um, and like I said, I'm not gonna do a huge cut today. We're gonna just do a small cut, show you if the smoke still comes out with this installed. That way you know if you want the pass through or not and based on your area whether you need to do it out in a shop like i do if there is smoke or if you can still do this indoors in like an office setting so all out of the way let's go ahead i'm going to set this up we're going to cut to it and then we're going to cut this out we'll see if the smoke still goes and uh, we'll see how well this works compared to the other one 
All right, you guys, so as you can see, we now have the WeCreate Fan Booster, our inline fan set up and pointed straight out the window. Like I said, for this video, I'm just having it sit right on the window ledge since I don't have a good way to set it up right now. I'll have probably a more permanent way in the future, um, but with all that out of the way, it was tight enough where I didn't even need the metal rings on it, um, but yours may be looser or you may use the actual adapter that came with it and it may be a little bit looser, so you may want to use one of those metal rings. But uh, overall, it was a real tight fit. I don't think any smoke's going to get out of there. As you can see, I have the little control set up here, so we're going to do that as soon as we hit print here. Um, I'm going to do just a real small, quick uh, rectangular cut that goes just off the edge of the pass-through to make sure the pass-through does do movement. Uh, the autofocus that we had the issue with on the very first video is in fact working with the latest software that publicly released. Just tested that out right before this clip as well. So now all I gotta do is hit start on the software here. We're gonna do that quick. And then we're gonna send it. And then now the machine should be ready to print. All I gotta do is hit the start button on the start. It says it's gonna take um, a minute and 25 seconds roughly. I'm gonna turn on the fan now. We're gonna just turn it on full speed. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch right over here and see if the smoke comes out of the machine this time or if it all stays contained this time. So let's go ahead and hit start and we'll see what it does. And before we do hit start, as you can hear it making noise, it's about as loud, if not a little bit quieter than the Glowforge with its fan full running. So it's really not that loud. So let's go ahead and hit start here. So you can't see it right now, laser head's moving. As you can see, the actual unit itself is cutting and the uh, auto pass through slot is working. It's cutting the top edge right now of the uh, board and then it's gonna run through and move the whole board this way here in just a second. As you can see, it's now running. I'm not seeing any smoke um, on visually right now. Um, I do have a hint of a smoke smell, but that could be coming from the back of the unit as the back of the unit is open as well and all the fan, all the smoke is getting pulled this way. But there is a significantly less amount of smoke in this machine right now than our first video. So that's, that's always a plus and a good sign. Um, it's almost done with the back side of that cut and then it's gotta go back this way one more time. You'll see it move one last time here um, slowly, you can maybe slowly see it moving here. But uh, it's almost done, just a few more seconds, and I think we've got success on this here. Wait for it to finish. And we're coming at the very end of this cut here. So as you can see, it's finished the cut. We still have no smoke coming out the front. The machine is still going full speed and then the machine is lifting up to show that the cut is done here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this fan off so we can get a little bit less noisy. You also have your internal fan that's running too, and that, that's why it's still loud now that we turn the fan off itself. So that internal fan is gonna run a little bit longer, pushing the remainder amount of smoke out, um, and then you can lift your lid and get your project out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to when the fan cuts off. This runs for another 30 to 40 seconds here. All right, you guys, so now that the fan is off, this is what we cut out. It was just a simple rectangle um, to show you the cutting and how much smoke would come out of this and the fact that the uh, inline fan can keep up with the smoke. There is just a hint of smoke smell, not very much at all. Probably the typical amount that you would smell without the inline fan and with it fully enclosed with the bottom on it. So overall, I would say this fan is a success for what it's supposed to do. And you get a lot of value for what you're purchasing versus like that third party one I mentioned earlier. But all in all, um, yeah, we can say that this one is a really good purchase to, to get with this machine. Um, but like I said, the third party one's gonna do essentially the same thing. So whichever one works for you or works out best for you, go ahead and get that. Um, it's the same concept, hook up a hose, you can have your inline fan way over here and then a second hose out the window if you need a longer extension. Um, the included extensions that comes with it is pretty short, to be completely honest. I'd like to see it a little bit longer, 
But overall, you can always get one of these from Ace Hardware or Home Depot or wherever you need to get uh, an actual hose extension here. They're pretty cheap, so you can always add your own as needed. Um, other than that, uh, I think we were pretty successful in this video in testing both the fan and the pass-through again with the public release. Um, the 40 watt is still working stronger than ever. Cuts through like butter. This is actually the back side. This is the front side from the first video with those fir first two test cuts. Um, so ignore those first two test cuts that were on there, the little score markers. Um, that was not part of this. The actual cut itself here, super clean. Barely any smoke marks at all. Um, overall, really impressed with the machine, the pass-through, and the, the little tiny fan compared to the third-party fan. If you need that extra power, go ahead and get this six-inch um, infinity fan. I think that's what it's called, and I'll put that up on the screen here as well. Other than that, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.